Welcome to another episode of Inside Out. There are beautiful places all across Israel and people doing incredible work here and we want to get the word out. It is spring in the Golan Heights here in Israel and it is beautiful. You can smell the flowers in the air. It doesn't get much more beautiful than this, honestly. But I want to show you something that I find even more beautiful. It may not be beautiful landscapes like this and delicious food that I've eaten this weekend while up here in the Golan, but it's actually found in beautiful people with beautiful hearts doing beautiful work for the kingdom of God. And I can't wait to show you to a new place that is literally designated for this important work. So we're gonna go back to the neighborhood and back to the car and go visit our friends and I'd love for you to come with us. All right, we are on our way to visit one of our local partners and it's really spontaneous. We weren't planning this, so I just texted Cody this morning and was like, I mean, if you're there, we're still in the Golan kind of unexpectedly. We were camping this weekend, visiting friends. And so we are on our way to visit the new Fields of Wheat Ministry House and we're taking you with us. <laughs> pulling into the neighborhood. All right, we're gonna go inside and check it out. We just arrived to the Fields of Wheat Ministry House in Katsreen, and I'm so excited to introduce you to some of the leaders here that have really pioneered this next chapter of what discipleship's going to look like up here in the Golan through Fields of Wheat. So this is Cody. Hi guys. Hello. Liat and Eden. Mm -hmm. So they're gonna give us a tour of the home. I've been so inspired in different conversations with both of them over the last few months and projects that we've gotten to work on to make this home, mm -hmm. this house into a home. Yes. And something that Cody said, which I'll quote you, is as we equip this house to be a home, it can be used to equip the next generation. We're happy that you're here finally. Awesome. And we're just so thankful for Firm and all of the friends and partners. So yeah. this is our, our privilege to have you. Thank you so much. We're excited to see a tour. So come with us. So we actually got possession of this house in the fall of 2022. And since then, we've just been making it home for us. And we've already started inviting young people, which that is the heart of why this house exists, is to bring Jewish and Arab young people from all over the country, from all kinds of different backgrounds, here as a place for discipleship, for training, and we really want to see them equipped to be effective harvesters in Yeshua's end time harvest. The way that Fields of Wheat started actually was over 20 years ago where our founder Eitan Shishkoff was serving among lots of young people at that time and was just noticing there's such a need in the body of Messiah in Israel to own their own property so they can host their own camps and different events and not have to be renting and moving from place to place all the time. All right, so come on in. This is a pretty simple home in the Golan Heights, but uh, we've been so far working on just making it function for our team and for groups and for guests. Because of Firm also, we are able to buy brand new washer and dryer and uh, start developing this area because we're having young people coming and we need to wash the sheets and clothes. And so this has been another jump forward for us in our ability to host. Bathrooms, bedrooms. We're just about to host some of our friends, but we like to provide high quality hospitality make people feel loved and at home. It's awesome. What I love too is anything I've experienced in the Golan with friends of mine, even this morning as a guy came to help me jumpstart a car, is that hospitality is so essential and woven into the fabric of people mm -hmm. in Israel, but specifically in the Golan. So the fact that you guys are going to be able to host young Israelis and, and have these moments of connection and discipleship like in a home, mm -hmm. it, it matters for the culture, totally. I would say. So totally. it's cool to see it. and. Um, yeah. Yeah. I love seeing what God is doing through family and how he's multiplying his heart of hospitality and discipleship through people up here in the Golan, in Jerusalem, in Tel Aviv. We just wanted to show you in a practical way how that's happening here in this home. So 
sometimes you gotta take care of your business in the middle of beauty.